Good morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 103. Please subscribe. We are continuing with this beautiful section of lessons all about joy and light and peace and happiness. And um, we're continuing that today as well. And today's lesson is God being love is also happiness. We can play with that. We can say God is happiness. We can say love is happiness. And we can say, of course, God is love. Happiness is an attribute of love. It cannot be apart from it, nor can it be experienced where love is not. We will always find love and happiness together. And love has no limits being everywhere. God has no limits being everywhere. And therefore, joy is everywhere as well. Now, here's the caveat. Yet, can the ego mind deny that this is so, and the ego mind will believe that there are gaps in love, spaces in this love, where it says sin can enter. I want to say where insanity can enter, bringing pain instead of joy. These gaps that the ego wants us to believe in are spaces where instead of all of God's attributes that surround us in are all encompassing, such as joy, such as peace, such as happiness, such as serenity, quiet mind. Instead of those, we have these spaces where the ego will insert in what it likes and it defines as love. And those would be things such as doubt and worry and anger and uncertainty and jealousy and uh, anxiety, anger. These are the things that the ego would insert where love is. And that, of course, means that now that it is no longer love because love and fear will never be found together. And everything that the ego inserts into this loving space is going to redefine it or undefine it as being, instead of being all-encompassing and having no opposite, which we know from the very beginning of the course, the introduction, opposite of love is fear, what is all-encompassing has no opposite. So now the ego is trying to establish an opposite to what is love. What is God? What is joy? What is happiness? So this strange belief without that would limit happiness by redefining love as limited and introducing opposition to what has no limit and no opposition. The ego deals in a special love. It's not real love because it is limited love. Real love is never ending. It is eternal. It is timeless. That's how God loves us. It is perfect love. But the ego deals in a conditional love. I will love you until. I will love you when. And I won't love you after. So this is how the ego is trying to convince us, oh, that's love. What God offers, this unlimited kind of love that just last forever that can't possibly be real but in truth that's the only thing that is real god's love flows over and through every living thing because that is its nature the separated mind misperceives and redefines love as being in short supply so that now if we believe that love is limited those who are bestowed with it become very special and we want to be very special to others as well. In truth, that again, that is a time-limited offer. That's not what we truly want. That would be replacing joy with pain. We would rather replace all pain with joy. So fear is associated then with love, and so it cannot actually be love. Our practicing is, again, the first five minutes of every hour and, of course, throughout the day. So um, this tells us that uh, we're trying to correct this basic error of seeing love from the ego mind and how it directs it, which is all false belief, into being what love truly is 
as it is given to us by our Father. So we have lines for practicing. God being love is also happiness. To fear him, to fear God, is to be afraid of joy. And I will not be afraid of joy today. And begin our practice periods today with that association which corrects the false belief that God is fear. God is never fearful. God is fearless. And we will also be fearless when we understand God's love for us because it fills us up completely with the strength that comes from the mind of God. So then it says, um, it also emphasizes that happiness belongs to you because of what God is. Allow this one correction to be placed within your mind each waking hour today, then welcome all the happiness that it will bring as truth replaces fear and joy becomes what you expect to take the place of pain. We're letting go of pain today and replacing every painful thought, every aspect that we of this life, this experience we're having that is painful. We are replacing it with joy. God being love, it will be given you. Because God is love, we will receive all of this. Bolster this expectation frequently throughout the day and quiet all your fears with this assurance, kind and holy and true, that God being love is also happiness, and it is happiness I seek today. I cannot fail because I seek the truth. We know that there is another way of looking at this world way back from when, and this is one of the things we're doing today. We're learning to look at this world. We're learning to look at love differently, not how it has been presented to us in the past, but as it truly is, because God being love is also our happiness. And that's it for today, um, and I hope it helped. So please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, um, please smile, please breathe in happiness and let go everything that is not. And, um, and just pray for this idea of perfect love to flow over all things and all minds today. Namaste.